Today's video is going to teach you one of the most important tips in Madden 18. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to today's video. If you're new to the YouTube channel, do me a favor and go ahead and leave a comment and let me know how you found the channel and secondly, what is one thing that I can help you with in Madden 18. Alright, as we get into this video, what I wanted to talk about today is in my opinion one of the most important videos I can give you for the entirety of the Madden season and that is how to read defense. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do it out of bunch because that's the formation that I use the most. So that's just comfortable for me and that's how I'll show you exactly how I do it. So um, here we go. So first thing first, there's a couple things you want to identify. The first thing you want to look for is where are the cornerbacks? The cornerbacks, let me show you real quick, are these players right here. So that's DRC and Janoris Jenkins. Now, these are the key people you want to identify because what it's going to do is it's going to tell you some information. If the cornerbacks are off coverage like this right here, and they're spread out, and they're facing the quarterback. So if you look at their eyes, their eyes are facing the quarterback. This means that they are in a deep blue zone. Okay, so a deep blue zone, um, that's traditionally what's going to happen. So we'll show you here. If we move to cover three, you see they move a little bit, but they're still facing the quarterback, and they're still off coverage. If we, sh if we shift it to cover two man, though, now all of a sudden... If you look over here on the right side of the line of scrimmage, Jenkins presses up against the uh, receiver. And then if we motion Des Bryant out, you'll see that Cromarty is going to press up against Des Bryant. So that's, and, and also real quick, look at his eyes. If you look at his eyes, I'm Jenkins here, he's facing right at Williams. Facing right at Williams, okay? So again, that's a quick tell they're probably in man-to-man -man coverage. You look at their eyes. Um, one other way to do it, let me show you, Overstorm Brave. This is cover zero, okay? And as you see now, it looks exactly like zone coverage on the outside, okay? So you can't really tell. That's where it gets a little weird. So what I want to encourage you to do is when they're off coverage, here's one Here's one route that you can use. Normally, that's going to mean two th one of two things. They're either in zone coverage and they're in a deep blue zone, like a cover four or a cover three, or they are in man coverage, but it's a cover zero blitz. So what's going to happen is the outside patterns are wide open, the out routes. So what I do is I, if I see solo receiver, I quickly will audible to this play vertical. If I see this look right here every single time, and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to put Williams on a smart routed out route. And then I'm going to put Jason Witten on a zig, Zeke on a hitch route. This is the setup. And I'm going to motion Des Bryant to the left. Now, if it's zone coverage, they're going to drift away. This corner on the left side is going to drift away. And I'm going to be able to hit Des Bryant right in this little alley right there, as you saw right there. Okay? If it's not, if it's man coverage, what's going to happen is the corner on the left side is going to attack Des Bryant. He's not going to drift away. He's going to attack. So he's going to run at him. So here he's going to run at him. That means the out route is wide open. Okay. So that's kind of how you want to utilize it. That's what, what that is kind of how you want to read the defense. The second thing that you want to look for is not the corners. You want to look at the line of scrimmage in the box. This is where you want to work downward. Where I, I, I talk, I talk about it top to bottom reading. Okay. So you want to look at the top corners and then you want to work your way down. So now we want to find the linebackers. And here's the quest. The basic question we ask is where are they? Where are the linebackers and how can they attack me? How can they attack me? So right here, you'll see this look a lot this year. You'll see this nickel blitz style look. And this basically says two things. They're probably going to use her this guy in the middle. They're probably going to either blitz this guy Goodson or they're going to blitz this guy, Apple, which I consider him a linebacker. Even though he's a corner, he's in the he's in what they call the box, which is the interior of the defense. So he can blitz. He can blitz. These guys back here, I really don't care if they blitz or not. They're probably either going to be in a hook zone, a flat zone, or a deep blue. Okay, that's pretty much the standard. They're probably going to be in zone. So what this means is I have to be aware that I can see pressure off the right edge, or I could see pressure off the left edge. So in a situation like that, I want to go to a play called PA post. PA post is a play that I when I once I set it up, we have a we have a quick read to the right side in case they blitz me off the right, and we have a quick read to the left side in case they blitz me off the left side. 
So what I'm going to do, this is the setup right here. And at the snap of the ball, I'm going to look more than likely just knowing the game. They're probably going to blitz me off the left side first. If they don't, then it's probably going to come from the right. So I'm going to look left to right. So first they, okay, they don't, but then they blitz me off the right side. So I come back to the right side. And as you can see, I can hit, I can hit it. Again, you want to just set up your play, a quick read to the right, a quick read, to, uh, a quick read to the left. Now, if you get this look right here, let me show you this, this look right here to me, they can't hurt me on the right side and they can't do anything here. Um, they can't really set up a blitz. It's just not going to work. So what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to blitz me off the left side. And to me, the only place I can get hit from is the left side of the line of scrimmage. So, okay, we go through. Yep, they blitz me right off the left. And look at that. I got a quick completion. Okay, so that's kind of the mental framework that you want to put together. And basically, the question you're asking is, corners, where are the corners? What is their positioning? Second question is, where are the linebackers and how can they hurt me? Okay, so... Let me give you an example of some, what someone will do. They'll call base align and they'll press coverage every single time. What that means when they do this, when they do this, you can no longer use the corners. You can't use the corners because they're going to look the same every time. So then what you have to do, this is where it gets a little tricky. Then if they show you this same look, now they can hit me from the right. Now they can hit me from the left. So, so now people say, well, and this is what I actually recommend people doing on defense. So now people say, well, how do I know what the defense is going to do? Well, you have a couple of things that you can do. The first thing is tendency. You have to go off tendency. That's the biggest thing. What do they normally do? Are they normally in cover two or are they normally in cover three? The, the second thing that you can do is figure out, because they're going to, essentially, they're going to make it look the same every time. So it looks something like this. Okay. That's, that's what they're, that's what they're eventually going to get to. So now you're saying, well, reading the defense is kind of pointless because they're doing the same thing every single time. You know, how do I, you know, how do I attack it? Well, essentially, you're going to do two things. You're going to go off of progression, progression reading systems, which basically says, um, you know, what route am I going to hit? The second thing is you're going to go off of tendency because if you're not careful, what's going to happen is you'll run PA post every single time against this play because that's the play to go to. But then what's gonna, what you need to do is figure out post-snap. So then looking post-snap, now you're trying to figure out, well, who's blitzing normally? Who's not blitzing? Are they in cover three, cover four? And that's where you look at the safeties, okay? So safeties are going to tell you coverage. So here's Tampa 2. So if both safeties back up immediately at the, at the snap, that's Tampa 2. And that tells you immediately, okay, I know I'm seeing Tampa 2, um, you know, and you can only do this post-snap. You can't do it pre-snap. But post snap, okay, it's Tampa 2, I know it, so I'm just going to wait for my crosser. Okay, okay, you see that right there? Then what's going to happen is they're going to say, okay, well, we'll change it up on you. We'll change it up on you. And we're only going to drop one safety in the deep. So now if, if one safety goes down and one safety comes deep, that's cover three. That's cover three or cover one. Um, so that's where, again, you just keep, you keep with your system. Okay, one safety came down, so I know my cover three read is probably that post route. You see what I'm saying? And then you just kind of contingency plans off of this. So then what if they go what if they go uh, cover two man? Well, it's going to look exactly like cover two, but it's going to be man coverage. So go through. Okay, cover two man. And voila, I'm going to beat it with my crossing route, just like I beat the cover two defense. So now the question is, well, what about cover four? I think cover four is one of the best ways to dis disguise your coverage in, in this game because you can really do some cool things with it. I like to do it something like this. This is what I would do if, if I was if if I was um, if I was doing it. This is what I would do if I was calling cover four. So now what's going to happen is both safeties are not going to drop deep. They're going to drop middle. So then you've got to have something that's going to hit over the top middle. That's the deep post route. Okay. But again, you just work your contingency. So if both safeties stay right in the middle, you know, it's probably cover four. You're going to be able to hit deep, deep middle. Okay. So anyways, guys, those are some tips on how to read the defense. But the couple things I want to recap for you. The first thing, most importantly, is to pause pre-snap and try to figure out what is the defense doing. The second thing is you want to look at the corners, figure out what are they telling you. Okay. If they base a line and press, then they can't, you can't tell anything from that. However, then you want to look at the box. How, where are the linebackers and how can they hurt me? 
And then the last thing is if they make everything look the same exactly every time, then what you have to do is figure out what does my post snap read and how do I read the safeties and what but where the safeties go is going to tell me what the coverage is. If both safeties drop down, that means that they're probably in some type of cover two invert, and I'm going to be able to hit them deep middle. If one safety drops down, they're in cover three, and I believe that I'm going to be able to hit them on the outside corners. And then if um, both safeties drop back, then I believe I'm going to be able to hit them right up the seams in the deep middle. Okay, so those are those are the contingency plans that you want to have in place. But reading the defense is really important and at least just taking time and energy and doing it every snap, every single snap. A lot of people, when they play Madden, the bottom line is they know how to read the defense. They choose not to. Okay, and they just get in a hurry. Do not get in a hurry. The key here, read the defense, make a play. Read the defense, make a play. Read the defense, make a play. Okay, so I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are looking for some more offensive tips, you can purchase our Madden 18 offensive guide. It is in the description of this video. And a reminder for you, those of you guys that are new to the channel, I would like to welcome you into our community and do me a favor. Just leave a comment. Let me know how you found the channel and what are some things that I can help you with in Madden 18. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next video.